As the age of visitors to Las Vegas gets younger, one casino on the Strip is trying to rope in millennials with a new kind of skill-based gaming. It's basically poker and blackjack with a twist. And as 13 Action News reporter David Schumann tells us, luck will only get you so far. It's no secret casinos are doing everything they can to draw in millennials. But watch this. This is their challenge in a nutshell. A casino official is explaining the rules of a brand new game, and this man's phone is splitting his attention. The millennials in general we find to be a little bit more fickle. They don't have the loyalty that some of our other customers might have. Caesars Entertainment hopes they've found a solution in skill-based gaming. Inside Planet Hollywood, variations on Texas Hold'em poker and blackjack pit play players against each other, not the house. Players compete for the same cards, having to make rapid-fire decisions about what to do. I'm not a poker player because it takes so long. You know, like this is the quick version of poker. I like that you play with somebody else. I'm very competitive. The thing that people seem to like the most is how quickly they're picking up not only the gameplay, but the strategy behind it. I needed a tenor or a queen. They want that interactive experience, that real skill base, that thought-provoking to be involved in what's happening and not just sort of be a zombie in front of a machine. Figuring out what gaming customers want and will continue to want is crucial. According to the latest numbers from the LVCVA, 69% of visitors last year gambled, but that's slightly down from previous years. The more concerning number is only 4% of visitors came to town with the primary purpose of gambling. It was 15% in 2013. The stats do show a positive development. The average gambling budget for a visitor last year is up more than $100 from where it was five years ago. Caesars executives see these trends and say the skill-based machines will make up the casinos of the future. David Schumann, 13 Action News.